So, we've just ridden the Epic 8 and the Epic 8 Evo. What do you reckon, Ash? Bang in. So, we got the, well, the Epic 8 Evo, so this is 130, 120, so it's a down country little ripper. Um, but a right little lap on this, feels like a BMX to me. Um, and obviously we've got our in-house roadie on a mountain bike, absolutely killing it. Uh, I've dragged him through woods, he didn't <laughs> die, surprisingly. So, uh, he's impressed me. I'd have to go with the down country, but if I were racing, I know exactly what it'd be. Yeah, for sure. It's nice and nice and nimble. It's got progressive geometry, so you feel like nice and comfortable going around uh, berms and drops and stuff. So it's uh, yeah, it's a good bit of kit. One thing that has really impressed me between the two bikes is they're not just completely outright different breeds of bikes. They are the same frame, but specialised. They've worked some magic again, and they've got all the kinematics down and measured in suspension. So. That is race bred, so as it is, it's 120, 120, this is 120, 130, so it's not much difference, but the ride feel and characteristics between the two is like coming from a, a full on cross country whip it that's still agile off road to, as I've just said, this is an absolute mess about bike and it feels rapid underneath me. It feels like I'm riding a road bike and I don't ride a road bike. These are fantastic. Well worth standing out and pouring down rain for 45 minutes, getting covered in mud, <laughs> watching this idiot ride about, it's fantastic. <laughs>